hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, cardigan in tunisian crochet technique and uh, the width of the cardigan i made is approximately 10 inches and the length of the, this cardigan is approximately 12 inches uh, the yarn i used is uh, danish yarn I use this brand it's called we love yarn and uh, into the 400 gram of the yarn there are 1200 meters of the yarn this one uh, you can you are going to need to use uh, need to have these Tunisian crochet hooks and uh, if you have this one it's okay but if you have the one with the long coat it's even better because with this one when you reach here when you have too many stitches on your crochet hook it get too squishy and too tight and it's get a little bit uh, it gets a little bit irritating to work with so it's better that if you have this uh, crochet uh, hook it's better if you have this one but you can work with this one as well but it's a little bit irritating so let's get started To start the cardigan from the neckline what we are going to do is we are going to make 52 chains <clears throat> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12. I will make rest of the chains off camera and then I'll resume the video again. I have made 52 chains. Now what I'm going to do, what we do when we are using the Tunisian crochet technique that we skip the first chain Uh, after the crochet hook and into the second chain insert your crochet hook and pull up a loop insert your crochet hook into the next one and pull up a loop and then into the next one and pull up a loop do that into each and every uh, chain all the way to the end and then I'll resume the video when I reach at the end of this row you are simply going to insert your crochet hook into the chain each and every chain and pull up a loop i'm at the end of this row so what we do normally when we uh, we are crocheting in um, uh, tunisian uh, crochet technique is that we pull through just the one loop first time this loop just the one loop and then we are going to pull through two loops at a time like that and then pull through two loops and then two loops and then two loops simply we are going to pull through two loops at a time all the way to the end and then i'll resume the video when i reach at the end of this row I'm done now what I'm going to do you are going to need some uh, stitch marker four of them if you don't have them it's okay you can make without them as well but it's easy if you mark your stitches so what we are going to do is I'm going to skip there are this is the first loop we are going to uh, skip that and into the second one I'm going to insert my crochet hook vertically and grab the yarn and pull up a loop you have two loops on your crochet hook do that into the next three into the next four into the next five and into the next six and now what we are going to do we are going to make an extra stitch here so instead of going vertically into the next loop we are going to add some stitch here so i will insert my crochet hook into this gap between this loop where we have um, 
pulled up a loop and into the next loop in between them there is this space i'm going to insert my crochet hook into that grab the yarn and pull up a loop and then into the next loop i'm going to do i'm going to pull up a loop and into this loop i'm going to place my stitch marker this is going to be the increasing point we are going to make an extra stitch before and after this stitch marker so again there is this space between this loop where we have just grabbed the yarn and pulled up a loop and into the next a loop there between them there is this space i'm going to insert my crochet hook into that and pull up a loop so we have knit an increase before this stitch marker and after that stitch marker now we will insert the crochet hook into next loop and pull up a loop into next one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten you should have 11 loops after this stitch marker because we made an extra stitch here after the stitch marker this one plus 10 uh, uh, loops one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten this was your right or left uh, front these 11 loops are going to be your armhole and now what we are going to do into between this loop and next loop into that space we are going to add an extra stitch like that so after this uh, stitch marker you should have 12 loops and now into the next loop we are going to make a loop into this loop we are going to add our stitch marker and now we are going to make an increase again into this space between this loop we have just worked and uh, the next loop there is this space we are going to make an extra loop like that and now we are going to make uh, loops in next 16 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen And now we are going to make an increasing an extra stitch into this space between this loop and the next loop we are going to make an increase like that and after this stitch marker you should have 18 loops 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have 18 loop uh, loops after this stitch marker I'm going to insert my crochet hook into next loop and pull up a loop and into this one I'm going to place my stitch marker. I'm going to make an extra stitch between this loop and the next loop. Insert the crochet hook into this gap and pull up a loop. And now pull up a loop into next 10 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 
सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन एंड नाउ मेक एन एक्स्ट्रा स्टिच बिटवीन दीज टू लूप्स इन टू दिस स्पेस सो आफ्टर दिस स्टिच मार्कर यू शुड हैव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ट्वेल्व लूप्स नाउ मेक अ लूप एज वी नॉर्मली वुड डू इन टू नेक्स्ट लूप एंड इन टू दिस वन प्लेस योर स्टिच मार्कर एंड अगेन मेक एन एक्स्ट्रा स्टिच बिटवीन दिस लूप एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इन टू दिस gap like that and now simply make one pull up a loop into next one two three four five and six loops simple as that and now this round is this row is going to be very simple we are going to repeat in fact the second uh, row by Uh, grab the yarn with your crochet hook and pull through just one loop at first and then grab your yarn and pull through two loops at a time like that like that until you reach your first stitch marker like that and now we have reached the loop where we have placed our stitch marker so pull through remove your uh, stitch marker and place it back into the same loop so that it's easy to work in next row like that now simply just pull through two loops at a time into all of the loops until you reach your stitch marker the next loop is where we have placed our stitch marker here pull through them and then place your stitch marker back into the loop or the stitch we have just made and continue working like that by pulling through two loops at a time until you reach the stitch marker and when you reach the stitch marker just remove the stitch marker and make and uh, shift the uh, stitch marker into new stitch you have just completed into the same stitch where we have placed our stitch marker like that and here we go again like that and now what we are going to do is we are going to repeat repeat the second last round for that skip the first loop and into the second loop insert your crochet hook and pull up a loop and do that into next all of the loops until you reach just before the stitch marker you should end up with seven loops here 
one two three four five six seven and the next stitch is our marked stitch so before that here into this uh, gap make an increase by in inserting your crochet hook into that gap and pulling up a loop pull up a loop into next loop remove remove your stitch marker and place it into next into the loop we have just made now pull up a loop between this loop and next loop there is that gap pull up a loop into that like that and now simply pull up a loop in each and every stitch until you reach just before your next stitch marker it's simple as that what you are doing is that you are making an extra stitch before and after stitch marker and uh, these four stitch markers are going to be the corners of the, your work so now I have reached again uh, the just before my uh, the stitch where I have placed my stitch marker so I'm going to make an increase into this gap between two loops pull up a loop into that loop where we have placed our stitch marker shift your stitch marker into next loop the new loop we have made make an increase between this loop and next loop and now pull up a loop through all the stitches until you reach your next stitch marker it's going to be my first uh, tunisian cardigan I have never made any and I have never followed any pattern for this I have just made it made the pattern I just created this pattern in my mind I do, I'm sure someone somebody else has also made this one but for me it's new I have made some stuff with the Tunisian crochet but I never made any cardigan with that so I came up with this idea so let's hope it works so now we are on the point where our uh, next stitch is where we have placed our stitch marker so we know what we are going to do here is make an extra stitch into this gap between these two loops make a loop into next loop remove your stitch marker place it back into the loop we have just made make a loop into this gap between these two loops and again make pull up a loop into each and every loop until you reach your next stitch marker just before that like that the next stitch is where we have placed our stitch marker so into the gap be uh, before that I'm going to pull up a loop and then the next loop is going to be into this marked stitch place your stitch marker back pull up a loop into this gap between the loops and then pull up pull up a loop into each and every loop all the way to the end like that and now from now on what we are going to do is we are going to repeat last two rounds but i will show you guys one last time and then i will do rest of the work off camera just pull through first loop and then two loop at two loops at a time until you reach your stitch marker the next stitch is stitch marker stitch so we are going to remove the stitch marker and place it back 
and then pull through two loops at a time into each and every loop until you reach your next stitch marker. So we are at the end of this row and from now on we are going to do what we are going to do is we are going to repeat last two rounds it's all curled up right now but it's okay it will work out later on just pull up skip the first loop as we always do in our Tunisian crochet technique and pull up a loop into each and every loop until you reach your first marked uh, loop which is this one and then make an increasing stitch into this gap pull up a loop into next loop this is the marked loop pull up a loop into gap uh, you are going to pull up i'm just trying to explain here is the loop where we have placed our stitch marker so we are going to make an extra loop before and after that uh, marked stitch and uh, one loop into that one loop before and one loop after that and then pull up a loop into all of these loops until you reach your next marked loop so what you do is that you pull up a loop into this gap before that loop and after that loop the marked uh, stitch and then pull up a loop into each and every loop until you reach your next uh, stitch marker pull up a loop before and after that loop and also in that loop as well and repeat that all the way to the end and then pull through first loop and then two loops at a time just remove your stitch marker and place it back if you are uh, worried that maybe you will lose where your central uh, stitch or the um, increasing point is gonna be so do that mark your stitch and just make an increasing stitches before and after stitch marker and the next round is very simple you know that i have already made this one and i think i got the length and the width i want uh, sorry width i wanted so i stopped working here so now these I'll try to explain these are the points where we made uh, six uh, loops at the start these are our right and um, left front sides these are chain 10 chains where 
we pulled up loops in ten, uh, 10 times these are going to be our armholes and 16 loops these are going to be our back side of the cardigan if you fold it like this you can see that this is the neckline these are armholes these are fronts and this is the back of the cardigan now what we are going to do we are going to do some separation for the armholes back side and the front sides of the cardigan so i just wanted to show you guys the length uh, width of the cardigan here on the back side uh, because on the front we have skipped some stitches which we are going to make up after we have make a button band and button band a whole band so that's why we are not going to measure at the right uh, front side we are going to measure at the back side so for that I'm going to I'm just gonna place my stitch markers back into the central stitch so that um, I can show you guys how wide it is here on the back side so it's I wanted 10 inches it is 10 inches now so what I'm going to do I'm going to place stitch markers back just for the sake of the video so that you guys it's easy to show that where I'm going to skip the stitches and where I'm going to not skip the stitches I'm gonna place my stitch markers back right like that and now what we are going to do is we are going to simply we are going to pull up a loop until we reach our next or first stitch marker like that The last uh, loop we are going to make is into this marked stitch. I'm going to remove it for now and make my next loop into that. And now what we are going to do, we are going to skip all of these stitches between this marked stitch and I will make my next loop into next available stitch where I have placed my stitch marker. And then I'm going to simply pull up a loop into each and every stitch until I reach my next stitch where I have placed my stitch marker. I'll do rest of the um, stitches off camera and I will resume my video when I reach here into my next marked stitch. Make your next loop into this marked stitch. And now skip all the stitches between this stitch and the stitch. Now skip all the stitches until you reach your next marked stitch. I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to pull up a loop into that. And then simply pull up a loop into each and every stitch until you reach at the end of this row until you reach here and then i'll resume the video again so the next round is very simple and easy it's uh, what you call it third round i think from the start what you are going to do is you are going to pull through first loop and then two loops at a time like that just simple as that that at first first time you pull through just one loop and then two loops at a time all the way 
to the end and then I'll resume the video again so I have completed the row and now this is how it looks So we have done some separation for the back, um, armholes for the back side and the front sides of the cardigan. So this is how it looks and now we will work on the rest of the cardigan. On the body of the cardigan we are going to work now. This is how it looks. It looks way better in the re uh, real life. But because of the color of the yarn maybe the texture is not showing very well. But I'm not giving up. So let's work on the rest of the cardigan now so i had ordered this uh, long tunisian crochet hook with the long coat and it has just arrived so i'm gonna open it and uh, from now on i'm going to use this one it's better that it, if you have this one because it comes with the long it's double edged or double uh, what you call it uh, sided tunisian crochet hook and uh, there is this cord attached to it it's better if you have this one because then you can work it easily and your stitch don't get very close to each other so the next round next two rounds i'm just gonna show you next two rounds how to work that and then rest of the rounds are gonna be the same until you are going to repeat these two rounds until you get the length of your cardigan so what you are going to do is you are going to simply <clears throat> insert your crochet hook into the uh, not this one not this one but next loop vertically and grab a loop and you are going to simply do that into each and every loop until you reach at the end of this row just simple tunisian technique nothing different nothing new nothing what you call it complicated just insert the crochet hook into each and every loop and grab the yarn and pull up a loop do that all the way to the end this is the point where we separated for the armholes and here can maybe it can be a little bit tricky but here you can see this loop grab a loop through that and then simply go into the next loop which is this one and grab a loop grab the yarn and pull up a loop do that all the way to the end I'm at, <clears throat> at the end of this row and now what we are going to do is as we do into the second uh, row of uh, to complete one uh, round or uh, one uh, what you call it pattern of the Tunisian stitch the second round is that we pull through just one loop at once and then two loops at a time. So simple as that we are going to pull through one loop at first and then two loops at a time. Repeat that pattern all the way to the end by simply pulling through two loops at a time. because we have this cord now so that's why our stitches are not too tight and very close to each other so it's easy to work now so i'm just going to repeat rest of the row off camera and then i'll resume the video again i'm at the end of this row so now what we are going to do is we are going to repeat last two rounds as many times as you need to depending on the required length of your cardigan and then the 
the one round is uh, where we are working uh, anti-clockwise and the second round is working clockwise we are going to repeat last two rounds as many times as we have to depending on the length we want and then i will resume the video again when i have made uh the rest of the cardigan and then i will resume the video when we are going to work here on the button band and the button hole band and also we are going to work on our arms or on our sleeves i'm sorry i'm having trouble with the light right now and then i'll resume the video when i have completed the length of the cardigan so I have repeated the pattern all the way until I got the length of the cardigan. What I did here was that I change, changed the color of the yarn after every 8 rounds. These are 8 rounds. One round was worked anti-clockwise and one was, make, uh, one was made clockwise. So uh, as you know that 2 rounds will complete 1 uh, of these loops so i have after i having four loops uh, or eight rounds i changed the color into magenta and then into the gray and then magenta and into, into the gray and i think i got the length of the cardigan i wanted so now what we are going to do is we are going to work on our button band and the button hole band for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply here I did not cut the yarn, I did not fasten off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is a left bottom uh, front side of the cardigan. So what I am going to do now is that I am going to make chain one and then I'm going to make chain one and I'm simply going to make one single crochet into all of these holes or into each and every round. Simple as that. Like that. Make one single crochet into each and every round all the way upwards until you reach the corner of the left side corner of the neckline on the top now make chain one and turn around and make one single crochet into the same stitch and make one single crochet into the same stitch and into all of the stitches all the way to the end simply make one single crochet into each and every single crochet all the way to the end and then uh, repeat this la uh, all the way here to the bottom and then make chain one and make one single crochet all the way here and then i will resume the video again chain one and make one single crochet into the same stitch chain two i think i'm gonna change the size of the I'm going to change uh, the what you call it cro crochet hook into the normal crochet because it's too long and it, it's getting irritating so I'm going to use the same size of the crochet hook but I'm going to use simple crochet hook instead of this Tunisian crochet hook and then I'm going to chain two which I have already done and I'm going to skip next two single crochet and into the third one i'm going to make one single crochet and one single crochet into next nine single crochet including this single crochet which we just made we should have 10 single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 10 single crochets after chain 2 space chain 2 skip next 2 single crochets and 1 single crochet into next 10 st uh, stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chain two, skip next two, one single crochet into next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chain two, skip next two, and one single crochet into the rest of the single crochets. Two, three, four. Five and six make chain one turn around single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet into all the single crochets until you reach your first chain two space two single crochets into this chain two space one and two one single crochet into next 10 single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and repeat this pattern all the way upwards by making two single crochets into this chain two space and one single crochet into each and every single crochet and then I'll resume the video again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make chain one, turn around and make one single crochet into each and every single crochet until I reach the bottom of this uh, uh, cardigan when I reach here then I will cut the yarn uh, now what I have done is that I have made one single crochet into each and every round here which uh, I did the same what I did here on the button band button hole band I'm going to do the same here and then I repeated it for one two three four five rounds you can may repeat this round as many times as you want to totally depending when you see that you got the uh, width of um, the front side similar as the back side then you stop adding the rounds as you can see after overlapping the button band and the button hole band I can I got the width on the front similar as it is on the back side so I stopped working I stopped adding rounds so I have made five rounds here now what we are going to do is we are going to join our yarn here on the bottom this is uh, left bottom side of the cardigan what we are going to do is we are going to while facing right side of the uh, work facing towards you I'm going to join it here into the last round which we made on the button band uh, button hole band I'm going to join the yarn here make chain one and make one single crochet into each and every round you can see these small ho uh, holes we are going to make our single crochets into them And now we are at the point where we have uh, made our last round of the when we were making the length of the cardigan this is the last round what we are going to do is we are going to go one round below here and we are going to make a single crochet there and reason uh, behind doing this is because we want to uh, give the finishing look plus as you can see it, the work is curling up so we are going to make it straight for that we are going to we are not going to make any stitches into these gaps because if we make any stitches into them the holes will become so big and it will not give the finishing look so we are going one row below and we are simply making one single crochet into these rows into this uh, round here there is this gap and then there is this uh, 
stitch we are going there and we are making one single crochet into each of those don't make your stitches too tight just make single crochets loosely as you can see that our work is curling up here but after making single crochets here our work is standing or staying straight so that's why we are doing this so repeat this by making one single crochet here into these stitches here all the way to the other end of the cardigan and then cut off the yarn so now join the yarn here on the top uh, right front side of the cardigan on the neckline and make chain one and we are simply going to make one single crochet into all of these rounds and one single crochet into these uh, what you call it uh, base uh, chains we made when we started working on the cardigan we are going to simply make one single crochet into each and every of those chains it's just to give the uh, neckline and the cardigan a finishing look so we are just simply making one single crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end or the other side of the neckline like that simply make one single crochet into each and every stitch here until you reach here and then you make one single crochet into all of these if you see there are these holes like here and here and here we are going to make one single crochet into that all the way to the end so our cardigan is almost completed the only thing we need to do or the work or to make is that we are going to make our sleeves here otherwise if you can see here our cardigan is done like that so now we are going to start working on our sleeves for that what we are going to do we are going to join the yarn and first couple of rounds of the sleeves are going to be a little bit harder because I will show you guys but here it is we are going to join our yarn here into the first available loop here on the underarm which is this one as you see here we did the separation for our front and back side and this is the first um, uh, horizontal uh, what you call it loop this is our first available loop so we are going to join our yarn in there and then we are simply going to repeat our pattern by pulling up a loop into each and every loop until we reach on the other side of the sleeve or armhole simply pull up a loop through all of these loops I'll resume the video when I reach here on the other side of the sleeve as I said that first couple of rounds that the sleeves are going to be a bit hard to work because there is not much space or gap left here so that's why as you can see it's getting very stiff but first couple of rounds we have to just bear it and then it will be and this is our last loop here it's not easy to see maybe because of the color of the yarn but this is the last horizontal if you put it like this this is the last horizontal loop so we are going to pull up a loop from there like that and all the stitches will be like that too close and too tight because there is not much gap here that's why but after work working for a couple of rounds it will work out 
so pull through just one loop at, at first and then two loops at a time all the way to the end like that and now we are going to repeat last two rounds by pulling up a loop in not into this this is the first loop we have already this loop on our crochet hook so we are going to skip this one and into the next one and into all of the rest of the loops on this round we are simply going to pull up a loop like that simply pull up a loop into each of these loops all the way to the end And now pull through first loop at first, one loop at first and then two loops at a time. all the way to the end and then what you are going to do that you are going to repeat last two rounds one is made anti-clockwise and the uh, 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 first one is made anti-clockwise and the second one is made clockwise so repeat these last two rounds as many times as you need to i will do rest of the uh, what you call it um, sleeve off camera and then i'll resume the video when I have almost finished the sleeve, I will tell you when I have almost done the, that work. So I got the length of my uh, uh, sleeve or uh, uh, what you call it arm or sleeve. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the size of my crochet hook to 4 millimeter. Here I was using 5 millimeter crochet hook, but now I'm going to change to four millimeter crochet hook and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to first of all make chain one and then I'm going to make chain one and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go one round below I'm not going to make any stitches there or into these loops I'm going there one round below here and I'm going to and I'm going to make a single crochet one round below or two round below the reason behind it is because we are not if we are going to make any stitches into these um, gaps there will be a huge gaps here and it will not give any finishing look so that's why we are not going to do that we are going to simply go one round below here and we are going to make a single crochet the reason behind that is because if you see it's all curled up right now so that's why we are going to make these stitches then we will be done by making these stitches you can see 
the end of the edge of the sleeve is becoming more uh, straight here you can see it's all curled up so just simply make one single crochet into one round below into each and every stitch all the way to the end so now what I am going to do this is the cuff of the sleeve so what I am going to do now is that I am going to fold it in half and then we are going to join both ends and we are going to sew them together like that simply grab your crochet hook and make chain one and simply join both ends with the single crochet simple as that we are going to make single crochet through both ends of our sleeves like that or you can simply sew it with the needle and the yarn but I, I prefer this method better so I am going to do it in this way you can do whichever method you prefer but I am going to do it this way so simply join both ends with the single crochet and sew them uh, repeat this all the way to the upwards until you reach your uh, armhole and then after that after completing that just cut the yarn and fasten off here you can see so i have attached the buttons and i have completed the uh, cardigan i have uh, uh, weaved in the ends of the yarn so it's completed it's done um, I have again once again I have tried my level best to explain each and every step with details if still there is something that is confusing or something that you guys did not understand please let me know in comments below and I will try my level best to help you guys and guide you through once again um, that's it thank you so much for watching happy crocheting and peace be upon you all